他玩什么卖钱的嘞？对不对？哎，对。嘿，对。Where did you buy? Twenty euros. Dance on top of the table. Yeah, I still got the moves you've never seen before, man. Uh, yeah, thank God. But those cats do really appreciate what you do for them, Danny. Well, it's a dirty job, but someone's gonna do it. Will you take the ball? I'll show you how to do it. That ball. Hey, ah. Get, get the ball. Get the ball. Oh, wow. You know what you got to do? You're losing your hair. Oh, my God. Now, now, now. You can't do it.
Yeah, I thought that might be coming. It hasn't been too happy lately. Well, the year just started. You really don't want to have to look for a new teacher. Now, I know you're certified in vocal music, so I would like you to take over the choir program. It's going to be a lot of work. Will I have help? Yes, we can discuss that. Well, I'll give it a try. Thank you, and good luck.
great. He had got it. <laughs> Turn to be a Yeah, we're trying to like that. <laughs> okay. We're gonna try this thing one more time. Drummers, please, please try to figure something out. All right, one last time. You got it. Okay. One.
They're not beating you at home, they're beating you in the streets. <laughs> Damn drummers. <laughs> I think he had another road game incident. <laughs> Your hair jumped in his face. I can see you have it. <laughs> so Lance, where'd you go diving this year? A little place called Walker's Cave. Yeah? What's that? They got this huge shark feed that is really cool. See, so everyone forms a circle, then they drop a 50 gallon frozen bucket of frozen fish parts at the bottom, and the sharks come blasting in, and they all go nuts. You shouldn't be? No. It's totally safe. Yeah, that's what they said about the Titanic. <laughs> if you say something, Luke. Hey, it is safe. The sharks are a little people over there, all the other stuff around. Daddy, I would rather live under the water any day. <laughs>
band has traveled all over the country and seems to come back with awards from every place it goes. To what do you attribute the success? Well, I got a lot of support. Lots of good quality out there. It allows me to get a lot more done than other organizations. Well, I was in band when I was in high school, so and there are a lot of people that help with different sections. So who helps you with your drums if you can? Uh, that would be Tim. He's a tall guy you might see walking around here. Oh, I didn't realize he was a drummer. So Tim helps you with drums. Okay. Um, who helps with color bar? That would be Tim. You got a lot of Tim's on staff. Uh, That'd be the same Tim. He's a talented guy. That'd be correct. Well, I hear you have taken on the choral program here now, too. And it must be difficult to work both programs. So who helps you with the vocal stuff? That'd uh, be Tim. <laughs> You're kidding. He does choir, too. That'd be correct. I, I honestly believe he's a better choir director than I am. So when you said you had a lot of good quality help, you meant that would be Tim. <laughs> wow, can I meet this guy? Sure, let's go find him. Uh, hey, Mr. Houseman, I'd like to make a suggestion. Oh, well, what is it? Oh, uh, well, I know that in scene three, we get different stage left, and we're supposed to be happy then. So I was thinking. Wait. Could, okay. Well, uh, I was thinking that maybe we could stop. But I really thought. But. Okay. Well, I'm glad we got that settled. Now, does anyone else have any questions? Let's just do this final scene of my final play the way I directed it. In 30 years, I have never made a cast look bad. Trust me, please. <laughs>
why don't we uh, call it a night? Leave on a high note? <laughs> I I'll see you all. Debbie? When I grow up, I want to be just like you. <laughs> well, Debbie, uh, I guess if you work real hard and you study real hard, uh, maybe your dream will come true. <laughs> and uh, maybe someday some student will come up to you and say something nice like, nice like uh, you know, Mrs. Spaghetti, when I grow up, I want to be just like you. Now, drive home safely. Take care. Thanks. You know, maybe someday I can be a director right here at Willow High School. <laughs> Great job, Bob. <laughs> hey, I took that one from the parking lot. You can't? Right? Oh. <laughs> I know the parking lot was in the hallway. <laughs> ah. Here, boy. Right now, shut up. <laughs> At least the basketball's turning up. Basketball team's turning up this year. Yeah. Yeah, I think they might make it all the way to Madison. We'll take the band if they do, right, Lance? Wouldn't miss it for the world, Frank. Don't miss this shot either, buddy. We need it to win. Alright. Jeez. Lance slash WNBA is calling. <laughs> Not coming out, Frank. Me like that. Yes, sir. But seriously. The pet band, the marching band, and the choir, you're a pretty busy guy. Well, I'll have you, Frank, with the football team, athletic department, the tennis duties. Yeah. Well, like Dennis. With helping everybody inside taking care of all the building contents. Well, I know. It's all the coaching and the driver's ed. Okay, okay. We're all pretty busy. But you know we love it. You know, I think you're right about that one.
afternoon is unbeaten. Wilmot was looking to make it into the Division II Finals. In their way, Kimberly on the scene, Dan Needles. On paper, this was a mismatch. 25-0 Wilmot against 11-13 Kimberly. But nine of the papermakers' losses came by forfeit, so the Panthers knew it wouldn't be easy. It wasn't. Kimberly opened a five-point lead in the second quarter as Todd Dolovit hits his third three-pointer of the half. That lead was shaved to one as Wilmot's Corey McKay buried this corner bomb to beat the halftime buzzer, setting the stage for an improbable finish. Wilmot's Luke Regal hits a three with 30 seconds left, 52-51 Kimberly. 
Chris Trottier, the driving bank shot, 53-50 to Wilmont with only eight seconds left. Kimberly's Brian Kiefer makes two free throws with four seconds left. The papermakers lead by one, but Chris Trottier still had time to be the hero. You saw practice, but his coach said, go sit down, and always jack him up from half court. And that one just happened to go in, and we'll play better tomorrow. It's by 30 or it's by one. We win. We're winning finals. That's all that matters. Thanks to Chris Trottier's incredible last second shot, the Panthers move into the Division II championship game. It's tomorrow night against Monroe at 6.30. At the Fieldhouse in Madison, Dan Needle, Channel 12 Sports. Never 
stop it if it's me that it's given. We can only try to make the world a better place, even though we often
show for you, Moose. Oh, yeah, well, let's see what I can do.
go. Hey, it was too good to be true. Wait! Hey! Oh, man! You remember? What do you remember? The secret. I remember your secret. Secret? What secret? You told me. Oh, so I told you. Forty years ago. And that long, huh? That Mike Nellis was your favorite student. That was it! That was it, I swear! That was it! Where did that man hit, Bob? Who the hell is Mike Nellis? Get over here! Amazing. 
Yeah, pretty cool. We all like it. <laughs> you know, there's something to tell you guys. Man just came back from Florida out that long ago. And you know, some things never change. Here's our trophy. It says Beaumont again. <laughs> Jeez, life goes on. Got that, right?
Smith in our spotlight. Uh, Savannah Rivers, our curtain technician. Two lovely ladies off stage that are stage managers is Eli and Robinson. Uh, and the sound back here, Mr. Wetzel. Yeah, baby. And uh, last but not least, uh, the guy who kind of wrote this thing. Uh, all right, big boy, Mr. Oz. Whatever uh, musical talents or creative juices flow in me, I know they came from above, and so I want to thank him for that. And just in case you weren't paying attention, they liked it. I liked it too. <laughs> I want to introduce God to you. Come on out, Chuck. <laughs> Jeff, what's your name? If you haven't filled out your favorite songs, please do, even if you only like one of them. I want to show you this because they gave it to me last night, so I wear it every night. And I won't be putting it on. It's fantastic. It's a Wilmont letter jacket with Wilmont directly on the back. And I've been told that we have a true celebrity in the audience tonight, the real Bob Mulvridge. Well, yeah, we probably should, you're right. Uh, there was one little scene where I talked about a guy named Tim. I didn't tell you his last name, but it was Wurgler. And he's like the best. He's the best. And he was, I heard him, I didn't even see him, but I heard him laugh on the whole night. I was sitting over there, I heard him. He's here somewhere. Where are you, Big Tim? There he is, Tim Morgan. The best days of my career were spent when Tim was here. We had a great time. We are going to do one more song. Thank you. 